downstairs in a yeah, building. That was high tech. Down, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was yeah. very cool. It was very fun. They used to take me, I know, you guys are going to be mad. <laughs> They used to take me to the ice capades and the ice. Oh, yeah. took me to jump too. Oh, too? Oh, the ice and then after the ice capades, where'd you go after the ice capades? Let's oh, see if you the, really oh, remember. Of course I Let's do. Let's see if you really remember. The ice cream place, of course. What was the name of the joint? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Eat that old. Oh, oh. Eat that old. Ooh, pink and. Yes, yes. How can I not? Carnations. Like carnations. No, it wasn't carnations. Yeah, it was. Was that? I think oh, it was. Oh, that was, was Disneyland. Right on Sunset Boulevard. No, it was right on Sunset but Boulevard. I think that was something different. Carnations for what? Ice cream? Well, this place was rad. Oh, it was on an angle on the street. Where the city ice cream? It was all was. Yeah, there yeah, weren't, no, yeah. weren't no tables in the place. It was all stools. All stools. sat at the bar. Oh, it was, it was like fabulous. Sundays. Oh, I mean, they had. Oh, it was. It was rad. Where's the campus? Tom, where's the campus? Pacific. One Shrivener's. Trying to think. Well, we'll talk about the place there? you talked about earlier, Dad. What Shrivener's uh, Market? Was the 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 Shrivener's Market. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think if that's Olympic. Not public, that's but uh, Carnations. I was going to say Olympic. Yeah, you talked about earlier. It was on the end of the county. I think it is Olympic. All males. Yeah. It's the same. Was it Olympic? All males. Is it Olympic? Yeah. It was a big deal. I think it was Olympic. The pantry. The pantry? The pantry? No, no, no. 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 Oh, that pantry's that grub. That's down in the okay. oh, no. This was Fair just ice cream. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Knott's Berry Farm. Right. That was when it was. You didn't have to pay to get in or go into the. You had to pay for the ride. Oh, but oh, but oh, even the rides, I think they only had the train well, and the stagecoach. So no, 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 stagecoach. There was a, there was a, there was a. I think it was about an hour, half hour. There was, there was a hold up the stagecoach. Yeah, the half hold up the hour with guns and all the whole deal. Yeah, realistic. Yeah, they can't even. Really realistic. Yeah, because you only went there to eat. I mean, oh yeah, that's why it was free and everything. Knoxville, sure. Knox was, Knox was uh, made well, all that was stuff. Yeah, it was jellies and jams. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's very farm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They look for their jellies. Yeah, look how much money they have. Oh my God. <laughs> really? <laughs> they got quite the theme park. Yes. Oh gosh. Yeah. Not you think quite. That's expensive. Go to Disney World. Oh my God. No. Uh, I have no even clue how anybody can afford it. And yeah. Disneyland, from what I've heard, is way. You don't even recognize it. It's so. They've moved it. the whole parking lot isn't even there in the front anymore. Apparently, it's all rides now up in the front. Oh, yeah. oh, Cal really? California, California yeah. Uh, yeah. stuff. Adventure. Yeah, I've been there, California but I mean, apparently it's you don't even have a front parking lot. You have to park like way over somewhere. And really? Yeah. Yeah. Get but Disneyland yeah. itself still looks the same. D yeah. So once you get inside, oh, yeah. yeah what the, oh, yeah. And you know what was neat because when we took the kids down around five years ago, six years ago, yeah. is you're going southbound on the on the five. Yeah. Okay. And you used to get off at Harbor Boulevard. You go down yes. Harbor Boulevard. Yeah. No, not now. You pull off for Disneyland, you go right, right into their in parking lot. Right into it? Wow. Right oh, into the park. Park. You drive down the street yeah. or not, huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you pay as you leave. <laughs> so, oh, really? Oh, yeah, they don't have that traffic yeah. backing up yeah. on the five. That's, that's, wow. I that's, thought, that's, where are we? Well, yeah, really, <laughs> remember how long, you, if it was a big night, like when we used to go to those, like, the TRW nights and all oh, yeah. that. Oh, yes. And you just, there was just lines of traffic oh, until you get yeah. off the freeway at Harbor Boulevard. We went there back when there was, there weren't no five. Yeah. The five wasn't even there. Yeah. It was all, we went back streets. Yeah, all street yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was amazing. Well. You know, the first time I ever went was 1969. Was the first time I went. 18, 1869. And the guy Meadows? that lived in Meadows, he wrote Jim. a poem. No, George. George. George Meadows. Yeah, yeah the one with the saw where they had cut the damn yellowtail or whatever on when it was frozen. <laughs> <laughs> where they were cutting a yellowtail well, or, or uh, had some kind of lady. tuna. But what George Meadows. Yeah. Right. You guys went down there and you wanted to cut a frozen fish in half or something I a on, on a table saw. Saw probably still smells. Oh, he wrote a poem about Christmas at our house, and I have to oh, dig that out. Mm. I have it. And it's the story yeah, about yeah. how my, he heard he came in and watched you guys. It talks about each one of us and what we were doing. Oh wow! And about the oh so let's see. So they were the English people across the street, weren't they? No, that's Meadows? no, that was uh, they were, no. They were the street. They were the yeah. street. Side street. Uh, Ray Bond was the next door to us to South. Because his members was the next door over. Yeah, two doors down. Two doors down. What was his name? What was the English? John and. Let me think. Don's yeah, I, I gotta think, I know their name really well. <laughs> no, like her daughter's name. Yeah, no, that is too awkward. Yeah, yeah I, so. I thought about them. I mean, it's better than yeah, not the English people. And what yeah, was Stoneman's name? Same thing the phones, you gotta have them in something. Leo? The English people live across the street. That was John. And you push in the hole there, Don? Do you know that <laughs> their son <laughs> still has tried to get a hold of me really? after all these years? Stoneman, yeah. Stoneman, yeah. Clyde. I'll be Clyde. Done. Yes. Okay. Does I anybody, does anybody know what the, uh, uh, what the hell status of the uh, people live? Lance and uh, two doors over the uh, street, the Jacolas, like Eddie and, and Ethel. Ethel. Anything. Ethel. Now, are they? Oh, and Richie died. Eddie died. I don't think Eddie, Eddie Jr. was Eddie the uh, lieutenant at the uh, yeah. 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 The, and there were all three of them. Police officers were were police. Eddie, the oldest one. Was a lieutenant or something? Yeah, he was Palos there. Rivers PD. One was a high and, uh, uh, Lance was. That was no, it was a no, microbiologist. Lance was microbiologist. Yeah, and uh, Marie. No, no, Dad is correct. Yeah, no, you guys are wrong. He so was a microbiologist, and he left that and became a cop. Dad is right. Oh, I remember that. Oh, that's because really Lance worked and I, down to a beach. Yeah, he was right. Because yeah. yeah. I used to work out with Lance. He, he was trying to teach me how to do a workout Lance, back when I was Lance in high school. Green biologist. Oh, right, but then he left that and became a cop. He went, yeah, we don't know. Yeah, you're right, Tom. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, he was up to Sergeant or something. Uh, 
I didn't realize he was still up there. That's interesting. Eddie Jacola Jr. Because me and Yelka pulled up there in the 40 bus one night to spend the night, and got roused by somebody. And the cops says, "I said, man, what is Eddie Jacola around?" He said, "Who? Eddie Jacola? Hang on this minute." He went back and rode him up, and the next thing I know, Eddie Jacola come rolling up. Jenny, what are you doing up here? I said, man, man, go ahead and spend the night, bro. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Me and Yelka. Yeah. That was when I first got the bus, the 40 Chevy, <laughs> the 40 Chevy bus fixed up. We want to spend the night up on the cliff up in Palestine. <laughs> we got really? roused by the cops. And uh, I, I mentioned yeah, Andrew Cole's yeah. name and I got, got out. And there was another night after we got back from Morocco and me and, uh, me and Bobby Winston was down on 101st between Hawthorne Boulevard and uh, what was it? Larch Avenue. And we were looking for some ladies of the night, and the cops pulled up, and they found some stuff in the bus, and I guess we were going to jail. I see us, uh, uh, Jim West around tonight. He said, what? I said, Jim West. I said, I, you're a good friend of the family. Yeah, I think you might be around. I said, I know Jim West pulls up, and just put that stuff back in the bus. You guys get the hell out of here. Don't get back. I don't ever want to see you guys. These guys don't ever want to see you guys. on hundred first street together. Yes, sir. That was, my, that was my 46 Chevy bus. Wow. That was a 70, I think it was a 72 after we got back from the We were out looking for some girls. And decided we'd go up to Century because there wasn't nothing around. They didn't want, the, didn't want us hanging around back in there. <laughs> the wonder. Imagine that. What, oh, you want to eat a strawberry? Yeah. Or you just gawking at them? Dad, how about the uh, how about the uh, Venezuela gambling? Oh, that, that give us give us a story cool. on the gambling. Oh, that was that was quite a deal. <laughs> some, that was a business. Guy, that was a business trip, wasn't it? Yeah. It was, it was some guy came <laughs> into the TV store, bought one of the best TVs I had. Had me box it up, take it to a shipping place, and he paid a couple of three hundred dollars to have it shipped to Venezuela. He said <laughs> they weren't available there. Hmm. And I thought, my God, I've got all of these used TV sets <laughs> <laughs> I could fix up and ship down there if they're that scarce. <laughs> so I decided to make a trip to Venezuela to see what the situation was, what it would take to open up a place there to ship them to and sell them there. So anyhow, I uh, flew down to Venezuela at the Los Angeles airport I had a wait. I put my stuff in a locker while I was waiting a couple hours or something. I went and had a drink or two. And the locker I had was something like 131. Didn't think anything about it and I uh, got my uh, bags out. I got to Venezuela finally. My room number was 3131. I remember this because I live on yeah. 330. I live real close to Highway 331. I, come, is I moved to another place in Venezuela for some reason or other. Uh, I had to get in another area to try to talk to somebody about the TV sets. I went into a hotel there, and it was something like 313 or 3... Yeah. It was threes and ones. I went to... Coming back, we stopped it in Panama. I got in a hotel there. I had a day wait in Panama. And my room number was the same way. It had threes and ones wow. in it. I never heard this story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't hear it with they, this combination. I was going. I was going up I played it before in the morning. elevator to my room. And there's a sign in the elevator. I go on to the twelfth floor. 
we have uh, gambling up there. Oh, well, the 13th is our bad luck. <laughs> it could have been a 13th floor. <laughs> yeah. Because they don't have 13th yeah. floors in a lot of places. Yeah. Are you, are, any chance you could pause right now and hold that thought for a second? That's all I got. That's the only way I can remember was the old, yeah. the old house phone number. <laughs> okay, Dad. Okay, so tell us the okay, rest. So You're going up the elevator, huh? And this was about 7 o'clock, and they opened, I think, at 9. I goofed around, went up, decided to go up to the uh, gambling place, and got up there, and it was just opening up. I walked over to the roulette wheel, and it struck me, all these threes and ones. So I played 31 and 13. I was there a half an hour, and I walked away with 24, 2,500 bucks. Oh, in those days. Man. On the yeah. roulette table. And that's the worst odds in the whole, six, yeah. the I, whole entire casino. What was that, the 60s bomb? <laughs> I left and it paid for my trip. Oh my <laughs> god. Is that the 60s, Dad? 54? 55. Oh, 60. Oh, it must have been about 60. Oh. 61, 62. We were, living, we were living in Inglewood, though. And it did, yeah. Yeah, it, uh, Shivey was one of our customers' names. And he was from Venezuela, and I think I still have a half a dozen letters that he had composed and addressed to officials huh. down there to treat me right. Oh, wow. That I was a good friend of his, and he was a good friend of the ones that he had the letters addressed to. Huh. And when I got there, Sears had television sets. Oh, and, uh, oh, there okay. were television sets all over. But the guy that had bought this TV set was in the oil fields uh, where that stuff uh, wasn't available. Oh, and that's where the interesting screw up was. But uh, well, thank goodness you paid for your trip, though. Yeah, but I paid for the trip. Is that yeah. the one where we've got the slides of that trip where where you were going through the town and saying how bad? The, the poverty was there. Oh, yeah, the was poverty that the one? level was... And there, it was there the, the whale that was on the beach. Just the beach. No, no, there were slides. I remember... No, there may be some movies, yeah, because it's like like going near the airplane and then going down the fields. And the yeah, no the airplane. Stuff. Prop airplane. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Amazing. And then Jeanette's operation on her fingers... Was oh, a gambling, a gambling deal. deal. A gambling Did deal. you guys yeah. know that? No, no, came no. From ice. Oh, no. Daddy, I didn't hear that story. story. Oh, that's a great story. Oh. I was working on some radar equipment on the ship. Oh, yeah. And about nine, ten o'clock at night, I had just finished up my work, came down, and going into the chief uh, chief's quarters. No, it wasn't the chief's quarters. I was going to the first class quarters because I hadn't made chief yet. No, don't wait a minute. I had made chief because I had been. I got married. You were. Oh, that's true. Hopefully you were born. You were married yeah. first, yes. Yeah. Before I was born. So I was going down to the chief's quarters. And to go to the chief's quarters, I went through the machine shop. In the machine shop, there was a crap game going on. <laughs> And I'm passing through, and somebody says, come on, play. And during the war, they paid us $10 each or $15 each. They wouldn't pay us our whole pay <laughs> because there was smart. no place to spend it. <laughs> they knew better. So they limited the amount of money that they, they um. paid. I walked into the game, and I started clicking. I was fading all bets. I started putting money down and making crazy points. It ended up I had every dollar on the ship. <laughs> I had my shirts stuffed. Stuff. Stuff. They, were, they were all dollar bills like crumbled. Oh, 
and I was just stacking him in front of me. We had a young guy, Frenchie, was the chief's mess cook. I remember you mentioned He was standing there watching, and he helped stuffing his shirt to carry this stuff down into the <laughs> chief's quarters. We dumped it all on the couch. It must have been a stack about that big. Counted it all. I had 20, about 2,500 bucks. Whoa. And, uh, and you 10 bucks a head. 10 bucks a head. 10 bucks a person. It was, it was almost every dollar on the ship. I had, they had, they had had a continuing game. The, the payday had been like in the morning. This was about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. So the game had been continuing. And there was just a few people that had accumulated most of the money. And then you cleaned and them I out. And the whole thing. And uh, I took the biggest portion of it, took it in and had the uh, guy in the mail department make out a cashier's check to send home, I don't know, 2,000 bucks. Yeah, I send it to I send it to mom, and uh, the next day I had uh, a job on the bridge, and the skipper was up there. Hey aces, what happened yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> I heard you had a little bit of luck, <laughs> and I guess a word had got to him that I cleaned up the ship. <laughs> And then found out that what I had mailed home. That's pretty neat. And but tell and then, because you were going to get in home, trouble. That was what mom used to wow. for my surgery, get her uh, for my fingers. Uh, plastic surgeon for the yeah. finger. Wow. For my thumbs and and wasn't it exactly the right amount or something? Wasn't Darn close something to like it. Very close to it. Yeah. The identical wow. amount for that. And can you imagine plastic surgery in those days? Oh, yeah. I mean, even a miracle that they well, they had. They were bald yet? Did the nails ever grow up yet? Um, no, this one, you know, this does. This has a nail, but no, my thumbs don't bother me. Eddie comes in, who was really cute. Yeah, Eddie came Katie in. Katie told him the other night about Katie it, yeah. Told, yeah. So <laughs> Eddie comes up to me yesterday yeah, downstairs. Long time ago I told him about it. Yeah, okay. long time ago I told him about it. What so this going? No, this somebody this else said I, I told Dad. Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, so he comes downstairs and he's kind of standing there in front of me and I thought he was going to ask me for something, you know, which I never care. And he goes, <laughs> Did you really have four thumbs? Did that what he said? Yeah. He's, I, he says, can I ask you a question? I figured he wanted something cool. from upstairs. Cool. And he goes, and I said, sure. And I'm kind of thinking, what's he going to ask me, you know? He goes, did you really have four thumbs? <laughs> and I said, yeah. yeah, and he goes, his eyes, you know, like big like, as saucers, like yeah. he was going to see this circus thing, you know. So you thought Paul was BS so, yeah, today, you know, you want to check it out, he says, I've probably seen sis, I'm going to find so out if Ron really did. has four He really did, stuff. so I said, yeah, I said, see, I said, here, you know, and I said, if you hold it up, and I said, you show the where the nail throws, I did, oh yeah, I showed him where the nail, I told him about that too, I said, yeah, the nail still grows through, yeah, 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 yeah. And so, he oh, said, Bobby, really? I said, yeah, man, she's said, a freak, bro. She walk around four times. She really, she can pick her nose, and then so. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he hit me up yesterday, and he wanted to know secrets of stuff that we <laughs> did. <laughs> side oh, knot sassy. That's all he's talked about. Yes. Side time, side so, so sassy. What did you guys really do? <laughs> <laughs> I told him what one. You know, I, I, what one nothing really, you nothing really did. came up that I could think of. <laughs> and I backed it up too. I, I said the same thing. Yeah. Oh, well, exactly. Yeah. Well, he was, he was pretty amazed. He, he, he was like, wow. I said, see, this doesn't have a joint in it. I can't bend that one. But I said, this one does, and it works, and I showed him where it was. So cool. Thank and you. I said, yeah. you know how that came up the other night? Was that you, he, he, he was, you told well, he, no, he was saying specifically that everybody only has 10 fingers. Oh, well, we were joking about, no, you could have more than that. And he's like, no, no. We said, no, you can't. Well, and then so, Kenny said something about, we, you, well, something and, came up, and this has been, no, this has been. But I mean, just the other night was when we were talking about it. That's though, what right, made him, that's what he said. Well, that made him, that made kick it back up, but we were talking about it a while back because he said something about, Something being double jointed. I said, you know what? Yeah, my sister used to have four thumbs. I said, oh yeah, and, and the nail grows out of one side. Which is, oh come on, man. Oh, I, yeah, man, for sure, man. Aunt Jeanette, Aunt Jeanette. Oh really? 
I didn't think he forgot about the earth. Like, we were talking about the other night. Probably kicking, probably kicking, probably kicking back yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. It's like the side, cyanide and potassium thing. Yeah. Oh, been yeah. A, well, been I told him I would look for the pictures. <laughs> I, I don't know where my pictures are. But they, I actually I have. I remember seeing them. I remember seeing them. You do? I don't yeah. remember seeing them. Yeah. yeah. I saw They're, them before. Yeah. So I don't know where. I keep looking in my baby book, but I think what they did in. I was looking through some of the pictures. I think that they covered they hit them? Uh, my hand the on some of them. I was yeah. looking. I was looking the other day uh, at some old ones. How old, old, old was, was she when they had them on? Well, I wasn't very Pretty old. young. She was. Oh, oh she was just a few, few baby, few months few old. Months. Yeah, really? yeah. So I was looking That'd at some sure. of those, and I think that they airbrushed it. Is what Probably. it looked like. Yeah, yeah, that had air brushed. Uh, how about, how about the story of yeah. helping Kenny oh, not want to smoke? I haven't heard that one for a few oh, years. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I That'd be better. good. Oh, let's screw up. That's what, what that? Paul's asking. I, I want. I have a special request. The Which story one? about helping Kenny not wanting to smoke. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, what putting you putting you put in the room and go to the liquor store and buy it. I was painting that. I bet that room still smells like a cigar. Yeah. Yeah. That corner, Mom, mom's mom. Oh, yep. Yeah, none of yeah, none of that's right. None of right off the front porch. Yep. yep. And that's I was so painting good. in there, and then found out. I guess Mom found out and told me that, oh, that was she had caught Kenny smoking Wait. or something. No, I got caught at school because girls talk. Oh, okay. Oh. It was Christmas. It was Christmas. The Christmas pageant. We did a Christmas pageant. Me and Bobby. Uh, Ferguson were out on the playground smoking a cigarette that we had found. Oh, okay. Smoking a butt that we had found. Yeah. And one of the girls and her parents <coughs> they were walking across the field to go home <coughs> told the principal and they suspended us from school for a week. What school was that? Was that Lake High? Or no, uh, uh, Felton? Felton? Uh, probably or not one March it was uh, Ellen Jefferson. Down Felton. Jeff no, it was Whalen? down on Whalen? No, it was on Freeman uh, Avenue down just before the uh just before uh Imperial Highway. March? Larch. Larch? No, be Larch is right around the corner from the house. No, okay. Whalen is. Okay, it was Larch then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Larch is Larch the one. Farther. That's where I play baseball. Let's yeah, Larch. Larch. Baseball. Yeah. Down all, yeah. just a damn near the Imperial Highway. Yeah. Before you got in fact, it, yeah. it was, you can see, it's right around you the can corner. see the big donut from, yeah. Yeah, Larch. from Larch Field. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, so and, Dad, uh, Dad was going to clear him of the problem, right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh, A bunch of big fat green cigars. Oh, man. Real, real. And the person oh, I'm telling you, the whole house these, smelled like it. Well, I mean, and I just gave him all he wanted to smoke. Material. And then he, he smoke he, rings and hell. Oh, he was having a ball. Was no, 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 no. <laughs> now you put that in your mouth and keep it in your mouth. I remember that night stuff. I was in the living room. Close the, close the front door. The so the, the whole room, room was closed with no windows <laughs> open, right? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that yeah. correct? Yeah. 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 Like I said, that, that room, I bet to this day it's still Probably still smells Well, I went to finish the second one. Lift me up a third one. About quarter of the way through that third you were green, one, I puked, I think. It puked all the way through the room, all the way through the, all the way through the, the den, and all the way into the bathroom. It was still puking. And to this day, I still can't stand the smell of a dead BMC. Really? <laughs> really? Oh, wow. I saw it work. It was a goddamn cigarette or a joint, but I damn sure won't touch a cigar. <laughs> Didn't, didn't do a thing on cigarettes. Well, you know, we did that. I've with, told that story out how many times. Yeah. If you old man, he Can learned me how not to smoke a cigar. I've never <laughs> took a damn cigar while I was on the I was, I was close. Oh. I, had, yeah. I was on the track, but. Yeah. We did it with dogs. Did you guys hear this? I did not know this. Did you know I that? don't know. Oh, we did. We did. Uh, oh, cigarettes? yeah. We found. We heard. Not, not as bad. But yeah. yeah. Or I saw her. I was driving by, and they had cigarettes. Oh, her and her really? friend. Really? On the corner, and I almost. Groped. You know, in those days, oh, yeah. holy cow. So I told Tom, I said, okay, I said, you're going to go get some cigarettes and she's going to smoke. If she wants to smoke, she's going to smoke here at the house. Oh, camels. So he did. He took camels with oh, oh, and and we them. Oh, the strikes. Opened them up. Opened them up. Throw them in my drawer. And I kept telling him, when you're ready, you have to smoke your first cigarette in front of us. And finally, after a couple of weeks, and Marty, Marty was over at the house, and he couldn't believe it. She come in, and she said, "Well, I'm ready." I said, "All right." So I went and got cigarettes. And we came in, and, and uh, now who was this? Dawn. 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 She was probably maybe thirteen, maybe. <laughs> and uh, so she just, uh, I think Marty lit it for her because she didn't know how to even light the thing. So she's doing this. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're going to smoke. You got to smoke right. You got to inhale yeah, it. You got to hold the smoke inside. <laughs> well, I can do that. <laughs> she done about two more times, and then you can see the color. <laughs> and she beelined it into the bathroom. Uh, she came out like t- 10 minutes later, and she goes, well, I think I'm going to wait. <laughs> I said, okay, honey, you see these? I'll just keep these in my drawer until you're ready and to smoke again. Did. So and she never, never again. Yeah. Yeah. Never no. again. Luckily, That's amazing. Did. Yeah, yeah. Once she yeah. realized that smoking wasn't this... Yeah, thing you yeah, know what your cool. friends yeah. probably did. Well, cigars, right? I was puffing on, blowing smoke rings, <laughs> inhaling, it, having a big time. So he says, "No, you gotta leave it in your mouth." <laughs> okay, I puffed on, puffed on, second one, at the, at that third one. That was uh, I can't even imagine the smell in that room. Too, you no almost windows. had they were it right, Dad. They were small. Just been uh, no, no, so they weren't no window. Weren't no pretty Jeez. cigar, bro. I, I said, I, I smell somebody with a cigar. Like, oh God! <laughs> Johanna smokes them. Uh, Madeline's boy smokes them. Uh, Santa Fe's once while they're cheaper than a cigarette. They're, they're like a cigarette if you smoke one, but they smell like they're a cigar. Cheap, yeah. I said, oh, man, dude. Don't smoke it on my truck. <laughs> man, I, I don't even like the smell of the damn things on my truck. <laughs> cigar. Smoked and he, he loved the beers and loved those. Uh, uh, I don't know what the heck they're like. The Tipperillos with the filter on them. No, uh, no they were the. Uh, I used to smoke a. a oh wait, a didn't he milk. use it? Yeah. He used this. Yeah. yeah, he used the yeah, holder. Yeah, yeah, he like used well, they had, he, Yeah, they I were guess. little ovals that tur- 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 Turkish yeah. cigarettes that had a per- like a perfume European style. style. Oh. And oh, he loved those <laughs> things. Oh, wow. And this is what I'm brought up with this yeah, yeah. love that he had for cigarettes. So I started smoking yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, when I was well, seven, eight years old. Oh, really? I started yeah. smoking oh, yeah. Yeah. Wicker, yeah. Yeah. Continental style. wicker off of uh, the. Uh, <laughs> like a wicker porch, chair? Porch no chairs, way. yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's and then uh, really? the Indian, oh, wow. Indian cigars. Oh the, my uh, gosh. Those long beans that grow on trees that have uh, oh, oh, like ones like yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. You smoke yeah. those? Smoke those? Yeah. Wicker and I'm graduate into c- cigarettes. You can lift us. Oh, grab a smoke. Yeah. You can lift smoke up long until you wow. die. I know. What did he do? Yeah, I don't think he I ever don't stopped. think he did way down the line. I remember the fishing yeah. trip when you quit smoking. Dude, we moved him up here. Oh, he actually yeah, yeah. You and I were on the, um, I think it was you and I, I think Mom was with us. No, think... no, 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 I was... Cleona. I was with Cleona. Uh, and I, I, Cleona I, 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 and I was with you. No. How pro you still alive? I was on the boat. You took me. Cleona it was back in like how? the 70s. Oh, how pro too? When it was on PT. It was on, on the PT-73. PT? We were out fishing and, and you threw out your cigarettes. Oh, I didn't... Your friend had I didn't died. remember you had. Uh, yeah, no. I was there. No, Cleona was talking to me about her brother just dying of cancer. Mm-hmm. Throat I think cancer. Anyone remember what Brandy was smoking when he quit? Right, mm-hmm. right. And ain't no doubt, bro. She talked to me. Uh, was talking, yeah, telling me the story for about four or five. 15, 20 minutes, and we're standing there watching the uh, the wake of the boat. Hal's up there driving. We're going back into. Port. And I just yep. took the cigarette out of my mouth, threw it out, took them out of my pocket, threw them overboard, took the rest of the carton that I had with me and put it in the glove compartment when we got back to the beach. For the El Camino. And that was it. Oh yep. Glove box. Never That's smoked amazing. again, and boy, I had tried <laughs> thousands of times to quit. I'd quit for a day. Right back on him. You were smoking. How about one of the buttload back? One, one of the stories I like is the uh, uh, the cockatoo and uh, yeah. asking you to be able to put uh, oh the speakers, the, uh, yeah. speakers and stuff in there. That's oh, in one. the rooms there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he. Iacocca, is that his name? Andy Lacoco. Yeah, Lacoco. Yeah. yeah, he was. Uh, he was part of the mafia, and uh, he had built. They had the fire in the old, the original cockatoo. Oh, it. it was just a little bar on the corner there on Imperial. And uh, I drove by it the night that that it burned down and it was 
foggy as hell. It was, you couldn't see. You couldn't see anything. You had a heck of a job driving. And just shortly after I'd passed it, things started on fire and burnt to the ground. And then they built, I guess the mafia built this big the real complex yeah. there. And, oh, that was a beautiful That's fancy with the corner place. around it so they could have the gas station there and make all the dough. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> The they had a lot of the judges from Inglewood come in there. Yeah. They, had of, <laughs> yeah, I mean they had a lot of prostitutes in there. I he am wanted me to put cameras and microphones oh. in a few of the rooms. Oh. I had I had so you get some shit. I had done a lot of work on his public I addresses come in there yeah. and worked on his TV in his house. <laughs> And then he approached me to put these cameras in. Uh, <laughs> Didn't want much to do with that one. He told that. Oh, I guess I he finally that. did put somebody in there, and wow. uh, he would uh, record the Man. the big wigs, the prosecutors and oh, judges and stuff that <laughs> were in these rooms. Rudy Greedy, fall right in footsteps. <laughs> Larry, 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 yeah, Larry, yeah, Larry. The mayor. The mayor. Oh, my, oh yeah. that yeah. story is That's quite a story. Yeah. Yeah. And did you, did you hear um, that, that he, uh, they found him guilty, I think it was? And of then, something. And, yeah. and then he, he kind of negotiated yeah, with him yeah. a little bit and gave he his stuff back. Him. I don't know what they, but it was. Because I sent that to you. Yeah, he was essentially guilty, pretty much. Kind of a mixer. It was a, yeah, an industrial mixer. Yeah. One of those big, big, giant great, big, and yeah. big ones. I don't know uh, if you... Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, the article, nice. if you read further, talks about um, his cousin or nephew who was involved. In, that was Johnny, my friend. Johnny, your John mother, Johnny, Johnny. Who, was, who was his sister's, Larry's sister's kid, I think yeah. it was. Huh? And uh, Johnny was kind of a buddy of mine in, in school, and he was always always a liar he was like a biggest he would you could sit there and do something and it was black and he would turn around and tell somebody we did something that was completely white oh, whatever it, it did not matter i mean he, and he and he had no problem and he could make up a whole story for it and he did this his whole life so johnny if you look him up he's like a, he was like on the city council for el segundo or something well he was implicated johnny what's his last name dragoni d-r-a-g-o-n-e dragoni he is implicated in one of those articles about an auto thing where Guidi was getting uh, towed cars and getting yeah. the good ones that were being impounded yeah. by the city, and then he was getting them real cheaper for free. Oh, I, and Dragoni was I involved with that I part of it. Yeah. And see, they were always Larry's always been involved in like imports, like back even in, uh, just after high school, he got involved in some import companies out at, by the airport. And he was doing all this stuff, and then Dragoni got involved with that. So he worked. He's always been. Airport. Yeah, he's yeah. always been working with some kind of import export stuff, and who oh, knows I'm what. I'm sure he was. And Dragoni <laughs> now is actually active. They actually tried to get him out. I looked it up. And there was like a big recall thing for him to get him out of the city council, and then there was a big election that he didn't win. And uh, but yeah, we well, just had a local guy that was uh, the head of the TDC, the Tourist Development Council, in in Okaloosa County, next county over from us. And they, they popped him for an $875,000 yacht oh. and numerous other things. And uh, they called him on it. And the next day, the guy committed suicide. Wow. Oh. Oh. They, they, don't, they haven't even, guilty. They haven't even, didn't even have a chance. <laughs> he to knew that was going to be a yeah. downhill yeah. battle. <laughs> so they, 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 after the story broke, and it was just local. <coughs> it wasn't a big deal, but it was yeah. local news, you know. And, and, I mean, two days Jeez. after the story broke, you committed suicide. Wow. Yeah. And it was a suicide because he left a note and all. And, and they never did come off with what the note was, but they said it was a note left, and it was definitely a suicide. So I said, oh, man. And, it, and now they're investigating all these other TDC people. Cause they're, yeah. The one guy, he resigned, the one that did it in Walton County. The guy, Malcolm Patterson, he had done a bunch of stuff in Destin. Developments and there was some shady deals and nobody's talking money. You know, like, eh, you know but nobody ever really investigated. And then all of a sudden he moved to Walton County and he built the Tourist Development Center. And he spent like three or four million dollars building this center. And it was some kind of, I don't know exactly if he was skimming money or what, but they, he was taking out this chick. 
And we used to see him in the Golden Corral all the time with the secretary. Nobody ever thought much of it. He was spending thousands and thousands of dollars on this broad for supposed flowers and this and that and the other. God knows what else. Well, he they, they called him on it. He he went to South Florida. They yeah. never heard from Mount Patterson again. Wow. Yeah. And he built this memorial right on 98 and the Highway 331. Yeah. It's got this swamp underneath of it, and he didn't want to mess with the swamp, so they built the building above and around the swamp. So there's a swamp in the middle of it, and nobody wants to be there because you, you walk in the place, you, you, you're, like, you're annihilated by insects. Oh, and it's like, it was a joke. It's like a, we always call it the Mount Patterson uh, uh, memorial to himself. You know? <laughs> I ain't never heard from him again. Old Malcolm oh. Patterson, Malcolm, we all called hey, him. You guys remember Leaf, my friend, the oh, yeah, Scandinavian yeah, yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he came to the hospital a lot when oh, I was in yes. your He contacted me, oh man, about four years ago. So we back in a, like daily, we weekly emails back and forth. We talked to each other all the time. When I first got in contact with him about three or four years ago, he was telling me about the chief of police of Glendale. And he was saying, he, you know, he's this self. Um, he, he's just self-promoter, and all he cares about is himself. And he's really so a bad gorgeous. chief, and he's just—he's real crooked, and he's trying to look to get like Santa Barbara some cushy job and leave, and like get his pension. And there's all these things he was doing, and just, so it sounded like this horrible, evil guy. So time goes on, and then all of a sudden, the thing of Bell breaks out, <laughs> where all those city managers oh. and Bell were getting millions of dollars. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guess oh. who the chief of police was? The one who left Glendale with an injury that couldn't do work on a complete pension goes to Bell. He's the one getting $750,000 a year. Oh, no way. Second job, no pension. Way. And I think he even has another pension from the oh, military or something. Oh, he's the third hub one. Bell. So he actually, he got a lot that of trouble. National, that it was national. the guy that Leaf was warning me about, telling me that this guy was the worst chief they ever had they wanted to get rid of. <laughs> and then he left and... and he left on an injury, just disappears, and all of a sudden he shows up and he's at least here with Bell, making millions, man. Oh, and it's my. like, oh, did they get the in trouble? Biggest. That was a freaky story because I, Leaf was telling me about this guy and he just sounded like a creep. And then he was a creep. <laughs> <laughs> was just, that was amazing. Oh it's just the, the political people, how oh, they do man. stuff. It's just amazing. I hate to go. Yeah, really we need to go too. To. Oh, the girls have yeah, to go study. <laughs> she wants to go too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. I know she's Thank tired. God. Mama's tired. Very so, does it feel any different to be ninety today? To be official. Feels kind of, really, <laughs> it feels fantastic. Really nice. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. With what you guys put on for me, it it was a lot of fun. Beyond. Beyond anything I could have hoped for. Oh, it was so, so glad so we could do that. Glad. We're so it glad. It was so nice. And every that person. It was such a surprise when I walked on that <laughs> patio and <laughs> <laughs> I saw all the people and. Did you I recognize no who they were? I saw, <laughs> I saw some people sitting there and I thought. Well, Paul had a few friends over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah no idea. Yeah, right thirty-five of them. Just a few. <laughs> and then they started coming up and introducing. Have a be family friends. Oh, <laughs> Candy and. Wasn't that? Jeez, that must have been in the day. and Dawn's girls and Jamie and. I, we didn't yeah. miss many. That's a lot of many at all. We really did. I mean, there was a few really grandkids had... that were still in Tennessee. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah but, but still, 32 in Florida, that's, that's a lot of family. We had a lot. The one was we 34? Were, yeah, 35, it was. Well, 35, Florida, 35. 35. Yeah. George and Judy. With George oh, and her, oh, that's his right. wife. Yeah, oh, that's right. But 32. What a, what that's a pretty beautiful good for guy him. that George is. Yeah. Oh, they are the He's nicest super nice guy. people. Both he was, he was, nice he was taking in all stuff too. He was, oh, he was, oh, yep. he was, he was loving it. He was enjoying it. They were both cool. Cool. Yeah. Plus, he was a cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He was our so hired good. cameraman. He good pictures yeah. out of that, actually. He was sure yeah. snapping some photos, wasn't he? He was. Yeah. That was so cute. He's a super good guy. And she is so nice. She's a teacher. I didn't realize that. Very great teacher. Nice people. No wonder I hit it off. Very well respected. Now, he's awesome. retired then? Yeah. Yeah, he worked. He owned the TV shop for 25 years, and then the computer sh the computer store kind of moved in an internet next to him, and then that's where I started working when I was working next to him, and we became buddies during that time. Then he actually kind of did like what, what Dad had to do, kind of close the shop. It was just time where you just didn't repair TVs anymore. And so then he 
became part of the internet company and the computer company that I was working with. And then they sold it over to the big company, Pete. And then once that happened, George didn't like working for the corporation. He just left and then he retired. He Basically, retired. they have he family takes farms. Two farms. Yes, no. takes oh, farms. Oh, is that when retired you took over farms. his work for a while or something? No, no, that's when I actually took that big job and became the manager over there. And then they said, see you later after I did what I needed to do and got it all in, in order. And then they said, we don't need you anymore. You're paying you too much. And <laughs> see you later. So yeah. that was when I opened my business. And, and then George has just been a help for everything. And then George is such a nice guy to work is. with. And when we do the Christmas display, it's like oh, he just does his weeks stuff. Weeks I do what I, you know, when I'm yeah. full, full accessible to use all my <laughs> limbs. And we they just work together. we work together so well, and it's and it's yeah. not even like working with somebody. It's like just working together as a team. And he just does all the wiring stuff. I do all the the major, you know, putting stuff up. And then we work together when we need to. And it's like we don't even have to talk to each other. It's like an unspoken deal. We kind of almost know when each other needs to be, you know, helped or something. And it, and it just works out really well. And yeah. we get done real quick. And then we got another friend of Paul's, one of his business partners. No, right. that's your customer. Well, that's a customer. Just a customer, customer, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. he comes and he helps us. Helps. So it works out really well. Well, when George and Paul start thinking, when they start talking, you yeah. see the wheels turn. Those two guys. Yeah. And I look at him and I go, uh uh. <laughs> no yeah. more talking. Yeah. <laughs> no more. Because, because the, yeah, the smoke well, is starting. Oh, yeah. That's how yeah. that's how we ended the up wheels. with the snowman. Yeah. Oh, did you guys <laughs> hear about my snowman? Oh, she did a nice job on that. Twelve foot snowman? <laughs> oh, you should have no, did you see the head? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. okay. It's fantastic. I dressed it. I was the one that made so Paul calls close. me and says, I have a deal for you. <laughs> Such a deal I have. I said, Oh really? And what would that be? You wanna buy some camels? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he if says, uh, uh, I need this costume. I said, Oh he says, um, for snowman. I said, Oh, okay. Um, well he's kind of a big snowman. <laughs> kind of. So he, he, we decide we're going to do this, and he's telling me what size and, and this and that. I guess we had some measurements, I think. Yeah. And then you were going to bring the pieces over to me. He was going to bring the pieces, and they fold up. Well, how easy would that be? I mean, sure. <laughs> Except that when you take it out, and he, they make this, I mean, it's incredible. I mean, be, it's an A's thing, what can I say? Yeah. And it's a pole that goes, it, no, George it was in designed one, this, this idea. Pole. And this thing sits on this base that I could not lift. This base was so heavy. Okay? Let me explain just for a second. Okay. So, John, get this. You know the lights you get from Pure One Imports that collapse down in their rings and they collapse, and then you open them up, and they're basically the material. It's like those balls that are yeah. hanging on my thing. And yeah. it goes like, and they, they open up like I'm that. That's exactly the design yeah. that he built with this thing. He made rings, and they're all chained together, so it's the shape. Of a snowman, and but it all collapses down into that big, so the whole thing collapses down, and then the pole unscrews from the middle. So you screw the pole in, you lift this thing up, and there's your snowman. And then you put the head on the top. Okay, so he brings this head. Okay, so it's pretty big, you know. This thing sits about like this, and I'm going, okay. That's about I 17 this inches. Baby. Yeah, it's pretty big. And then I say to Tom. Honey, you have to help me carry this thing in, and we have to put it up downstairs so that I can dress this, <laughs> use it as a form, you know. And Tom goes, oh, honey, okay. So he comes and he gets it, and we go to, I, first, oh, I tried it downstairs, you know, my sewing area. Yeah, it's too tall. <laughs> it's too tall without the head, without the head on it. So I'm going, well, where the heck am I going to dress this thing and make it and have it in the place where I can try it on? So I figure out, oh, wait, we have that extra room in the front, the old heater closet. So I go, that ceiling's tall. Gotcha. So I said, okay, we got to carry it in there. But of course, there's a lot of junk in there at the time. So there was just enough room. This sucker is like it's this big around, and it's as tall as the ceiling. Okay, with the head on it. Okay, so I oh, without the hat. Oh, without the hat. Without the oh, without hat. the hat. You can't get the hat on that I make. Okay, so I'm going. Oh my gosh. So this thing takes ten yards of sixty-inch wide <laughs> fleece. Ten yards. So I think I buy plenty. Then I have to make it waterproof, you know, because of all the rain here, of course, because this thing is going to move. 
as it sings. <laughs> it's going to jiggle, okay? So now i got to figure out how to get this costume off and on because they want to collapse it, you know, when it's, when it's put away. <laughs> so I'm going, okay, so how am I going to... So I'm figuring Velcro, right? I'm going to Velcro these bodies on, but I've got to figure out how to design this so that it goes around and it gets smaller at the top. So I figure out I'm going to Velcro the back and put a, um, pull, you know, string and pull, on, pull it so it would make it tight. Pause. Pause. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so, I, so I figure I'm going to put Velcro around it and then pull, pull things so that it can squeeze up in the center. But I, and I've got three layers to do. Okay. <laughs> so this is so big and heavy, the bottom layer, the first layer I make. <laughs> it takes that whole cutting table of mine. The entire cutting table to fit it out. It was so heavy when I first made because I lined it with this diaper lining so it wouldn't rain, the rain wouldn't come through. So I, and I double the, fe Very the fleece. Okay. So this sucker is so heavy. I have to call one of the girls because I have to try it on to see if it's going to work. She gets on one end of it and I get on the other because we can't carry it. It's so heavy. <laughs> so we get it in there and I'm trying to get it around this thing. And it's, I mean, I could not it's get huge. my arms around it. It's, it's huge. It's gigantic. Side, yeah. The bottom one is huge. Ooh, I'm gigantic. I get it fine. I get it around. Diameter. I had to, I had to remake a couple things on it, but it wasn't bad. Oh, it was amazing. Cool. It wasn't bad. So I got that one on, I got the, and then the head became a uh -huh. really a bug and so it was really hard because he doesn't only just want a head he wants a mouth that opens <laughs> that was and what closes I was talking to you so about. it sings yeah that was a trick and we we spent time i took it when it's i finally on, got it out there our back deck and i wrote we with did. crayon <laughs> what did i write dr jeanette is in the house it's in the house yeah dr jeanette in the house Surgery. She was process. out there like needle and thread trying to fix his mouth. Like we were surgery. trying and finally Paul figured like out how to was, make the tongue and, stuff, and, and I spooky. decided pink pants. Yes, <laughs> yes, and we made tongue and we made cheek. Remember, we did the yeah. cheeks and yep. uh, oh, it was fabulous. Oh, so my hat. Okay, so that our cool. creativity. You know, I'm, okay, how am I going to make a hat that's going to be rainproof? That's not going to be too heavy. That's going to stay on. And not <laughs> somebody mentioned to me, I had mentioned this to my friends, somebody came up with one of those um, five gallon um, things that you plant plants in, the plastic. I had originally thought a trash can. I couldn't find anything that was light enough or big or the right size, right d diameter. So I went and got a five gallon plastic container that you plant in. Perfect. So I cover it with felt. <laughs> Make a circle. Oh, I know what it was. I found those hats on sale, too, oh, that yeah, were yeah. Uh, um, Halloween hats. And I got the brim from a, from a witch's hat. And it, it was already had um, um, wire in it. So I covered it with felt. It slid right over the top of that. It was the it best was hat. It was like it was meant to be. It was and because so it was cool. plastic, it, that protected all of the servos and all the electronics that were up in his head. Because uh, that's why we needed that part to be washed with. The rest of it wasn't as important, but that was the most important thing to be oh, washed with. Oh, I forgot to start. talk about that. Oh. Because, that was because, because one, of the, songs was, was one so of the songs is owner of a purple scarf with this medley You know the did. Lonely Heart song? Owner, owner of, of a Lonely, lonely heart. heart from the 80s. That, yeah. that old this was heart. owner of a purple scarf. So she parody. made a purple scarf. This big fleece. And monogrammed it. And I monogrammed <laughs> with his initials. He, it, Willie, Willie, Willie e Melt. And so that was W E M so cool. on his, and it folded over. And I, I, have I don't think the it. video is. You can show. You the just can't see it. There's so just, did I, of it. No, what did it's, I do for, because his head. By the time he's on the stage, the which the stage is only about uh, a foot and a half, his head is above yeah. the, the oh, I covered roof line. Him. Oh, that's, that's right. So he's, he's yeah. over eight feet tall. He's a big, he's about nine <laughs> feet. Yeah. Yeah. He needed his girlfriend though. Betty will. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know. That's be Betty will. Yeah, hopefully she's smaller. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. So I get, <laughs> so we get the get the snowman made, and the head sitting on my table. I can't try it on to see if it's gonna work because it's too tall. So I'm just trying to figure out how to get this sucker out of the house to get into Paul's van. <laughs> So I, so Tom's, I said, I've got to do it when Tom's home because there's no way that I can take, so I couldn't take it apart. So Tom comes home, 
he does, hasn't seen it. So we take it out into the driveway in parts and dress it in the driveway. He's sitting in the van with the lights on so he can see it. Are you serious? Honest to God, I this is that. winter time, yeah. 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 And so here we are. Thank goodness it wasn't raining. Yeah, no. And Tom's in. The, Tom's on the ladder to get the head on. He couldn't even do it without getting. You know how tall he is. So he's got the head on. Paul's in there with the light shining on it so he can see it with a flashlight. <laughs> oh, it was hysterical. It was fun. Yeah, it was how many fun. yards of material then did you have? Ten, well, 10 yards of 60 inch wide. And then I lined the entire thing. Luckily, I had this, this um, diaper lining. I was going to make diapers for the baby, and they decided they didn't really like them, and it's a waterproof stuff. And I thought, oh, you know, this is going to be really cool. So I lined the entire thing. I just made it a piece. So I realized after the first one, I didn't have to double the, the fleece. Because see, fleece I knew would work outside because it's plastic. We're going, baby, I'm sorry. Um, I really it's, tried to get out earlier. <laughs> yeah, she did. I, she told me about 20 that's minutes Whitney. ago we were leaving. That's Whitney. Jeanette, I actually still have a picture on my phone from that when you guys oh, were doing that. Yeah. Oh, my, yeah. oh my gosh. That's oh, my gosh. Like you it over, you go slide to the right, you'll see a couple more of them. <laughs> I can't see it. I don't know. Okay. Oh, see, okay. <laughs> That's so we were dressing it. Isn't that it was in the driveway. Now the head just sits right you outside know, the garage door, and when I open it in the morning, <laughs> sometimes it's even though it, it still came out. He he still <laughs> wasn't smiling as much as I wanted to be. The, yeah. the kids still came up and but you sat don't and watched that show. No, no, it, 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 it would make you think like you were a kid again watching those. Shows. Oh. It was the best. There was one night when it was so crowded. We Steve and I were outside. Remember that night, Steve, when oh, all yeah. the people came out oh, and this crowd, crowd, just like we were. But these are people, and then there's cars in the street watching the whole thing, all the way down to the end. So we probably had about 40 or 50 people there watching, and. You want to see? It's one of those like a party thing where there's just this excitement out there. We're handing out candy canes to everybody. And man, people, kids were dancing and singing. Now, will you use that again? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. This is part of the ongoing. Yeah, we're gonna fix the head this year. So I'm gonna make the George and I are gonna redo the whole mouth because yeah. the mouth needs to be smiling while he's talking, and it's not. He's kind of grimacing. Kinda, <laughs> we were afraid we were gonna scare the kids. Yeah. He needs some serious. He some needs some serious. Oral we're, we're gonna do <laughs> facial reconstructive surgery this year. So we're gonna we're gonna actually do the frame different. Oh, that's I saw yeah. a story not too long back about the blowfish. Real oh, oh, about the real snow. Oh, snow. Yeah. Oh, man. That was the best. Well, we and I always remember when they took it I'm down and all the down. snow was in the yard, we got to have snowball fights. <laughs> we had snowball fights when we went to the, it, to uh, Culver City Ice Ring and got the snow. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The Zamboni. Yeah, the Zamboni. Is that where that came from? Yep. Yeah. I thought sure they was. drove up to San Bernardino. No, I thought they did too. Oh, oh the oh, ice oh, rink. Culver oh, City okay. Ice Rink, man. I'll be darn. Yeah, That's right, because he's a refrigeration guy, so he probably knew that for the whole refrigeration. That's, yeah. That was clear. Their display was nice. Beautiful display, yeah. Yeah, we had some nice ones in uh, Gardena. Uh, Gardena. Oh. Gardena. <laughs> yeah, that one that the, the ones that we scanned in with the insulation. Oh, that was oh, great. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
So she, uh, <laughs> when she was there, she was oh, thank you. Oh, that's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> but you know, we, it was just a ball. Oh, we just had, so, we had just Ed's Maestro, you're still alive? Yeah, it was fabulous. Yeah. Well, we just yeah. have to make it on me. If we can, get on your chart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know. Yeah. Oh, that never happened. If we had planned way ahead, we could have never done it. Never pulled it off like this. Yeah, there was no plan. No, that was the best part. And each person just took their own thing, and it was beautiful. But she didn't really miss it. So I was like, yeah. Okay. Well, when I think yeah. about real fun, yeah. 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 Oh, we talked about it. I'm, yeah, I'm glad yeah, that came up. Are you all kidding? So that $1,000 off the market. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 but it's just out out. No, it's, yeah, it'll be done by the end of the week. And, uh, and actually, in that reading, it sounds like, you know, I mean, some of us are going to bump back up a little bit, but not much. But not enough to get. I'd rather just get into a guaranteed fund and just stay there. You've got to be conservative. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Right, your arm is <laughs> It was a miracle. Thank you guys. It was You're so welcome. fabulous and funny. Okay. We've all yeah, talked you about it. All right, yeah. you guys. I'm going to miss you. Bye, Bye yeah. you guys. I'm going to cry, so I'm going. <laughs> Thank you, Jeanette. Bye. Thanks so much again for your everything. Glad you enjoyed it. Oh, that was yeah, I did. I've, okay. I've had a ball. You deserve it. <laughs> nine years put up with our shit. <laughs> well, not 90 years for some of us, but you could see me. What a blessing. The family I've had. Uh, Let's see you, Paul. Love you. Love me too. Okay, wait. Yeah, it'll come down, but you know what? You got that iPad. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you need to get a different case for that, Dad. There's a really good good case out there that's got so that when you flip the cover back over. Right. <laughs> I think I paid right, come on, the pie twenty for mine. Oh. Um, I'll send you the link for the one that I really like on okay. Amazon. You can just get it on Amazon. Uh, but it's a really good one. I did all kinds of research, and everybody loves this one. And it's it does it's all this. Yeah, it does all the Apple stuff, and then when you flip it over, it's got the extra hole for the camera in the back, and. It, you That's flip, the first time. I mean, I've been mean, drilling the hole. Crazy the crazy yeah. Yeah. And you flip it over in the back, and it's got the uh, it's got the easel. So when you, you flip the case around, you can make it into an easel, so it sits on a really nice level for you to look at, mm. like a stand. And like you said, I'll bet you there's a the uh, cucumber yogurt. How did you make that? Uh, yummy yogurt. Put it in a coffee filter, drain the water out of it, let it drain for about an hour, hour and a half, two hours, and you find in a container like this, you get about that much water out of it, and it thickens it like a, almost like a soft cheese. Take a cucumber, split it lengthwise, uh, spoon, take a, a soup spoon, drag all the seeds out of the cucumber, uh, use a small shredder, and just shred it in real tiny do you peel pieces. A, do you peel the cucumber? One, one whole cucumber. But is it peeled? Uh, I peel it, yeah. Okay, okay. And uh, about three cloves of garlic, some lemon juice and dill weed. Do you use fresh or dried? Pardon? Fresh or dried dill? Well, I all I had was drill, drill weed dried, and I used that. But you can use fresh. A okay. uh, little bit of dill taste to it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, all you want, and uh, stir it all together, and that's it. It was good. Tzatziki, yeah, it was tzatziki good. sauce. It's tzatziki. It's T-Z. Uh, yeah, tzatziki. My, my favorite hamburger was in Hawthorne, across the street from us, a block or two, yeah. one way or the other, had been an old drive-in kind of a yeah. restaurant, and in there they made a pita burger. Yeah, I remember that place. They made yeah. the pita burger and put that sabiki sauce on it. The best oh, that burger? on a burger. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh, that yeah. was the best. You know, you know, no, I just, I, can, I can see it. I can, I can taste pita it. pita bread yeah. with a patty in there oh, yeah. and some of that, oh, yeah. that sauce. And man, that was a hamburger. The steps that he gave you on the putting in the cheesecloth, if you put salt, this is a whole separate recipe, put salt in the cheesecloth, let it all drain out and get it really drained good. Just take that and stick that in the fridge. It is the it's better than cream cheese. Put it in the fridge and it's a cheese. It it is the most amazing and I thought, I think you taught me that one. Isn't that where you put the salt in it, you let all the water drain out, and you just take the ball and you put it in as a ball of cheese and you put it like on pita bread in the morning and yeah. toast and oh yeah, that makes a nice just it makes a nice because, because it's cream it, cheese. It's, it's got a yogurty flavor, but it is so, it is like cream cheese. And I think Dad taught me that one. And I even hang it up over the faucet and just kind of hang it in a ball. And it was just all, all the water drips out. And when it's all dry, it's, it's a ball of cheese, like what a cheese you, ball. It's good. Now, what, what they do so with, that, with that, they, they drain it even longer. 
and then keep it in the refrigerator and they make balls out of it mm-hmm. and they put it in uh, olive oil. Oh, that's right. That's the, yes. uh, yeah. And that's a uh, delicacy in yeah. uh, it's like an appetizer, Middle Eastern. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It yeah, it's really simple to get a, a cheese out of that. It's really yeah. good. Oh, okay. And you got it all recorded. It's like- yep. <laughs>